We love having a pool in our backyard. But you know what I don't like about it? Is finding all those towels and bathing suits on all the patio furniture. So let's build a rack. Now I did build a smaller version of this towel rack about three years ago, but it was way too small and I needed to build a new one. And this time you get to see me build it. As always, I have the entire cut list, the dimensions and step-by-step -step schematics and I will add a link to that in the description below. For this project, I am using redwood, but cedar is a great choice as well. You do want to make sure that you use good quality outdoor wood because you will be placing wet clothes directly on the wood. Once the cuts were made, it was time for the pocket holes. My redwood boards are an inch and 3 8 thick, unlike regular 2x2 boards. So I adjusted for it on the drill bit collar for the pocket holes. Then I just went ahead and made all the pocket holes. I am using the Craig 720, but you can use any pocket hole jig. If you don't have a jig where you can adjust settings of the drill bit collar or the height of the jig to an inch and three eighths, you can set the jig at one and a half inches and set the drill bit collar slightly below the one and a half inch mark. And make some test holes. As long as you don't see a hole indent on the end of the board, you should be good to go. It is a lot of pocket holes, but my plans call for exactly where to make them. Now to assemble, I started with the shelf. The shelf slat spacing is two inches, and to make things a little bit easier, I used a scrap two by three and cut it up into two inch pieces and used them as spacers. This made the entire process so much easier. To attach, I'm using two inch exterior grade pocket hole screws. These are the blue coated pocket hole screws. The last time I built it, I actually added two shelves, but I found that we rarely used both the shelves and just one shelf was good enough to dry anything that needed to lay flat or to store extra towels. So this time I built just one shelf. Now for the towels. I built the racks making sure that the pocket holes were facing downwards. The front and the back legs also have a support at the bottom that will become a part of the shelf later. I built the back, the front and the middle racks. To put it all together, I attached the shelf to the back legs with the pocket hole screws. Then, I attach the front legs. Then, I attached both the middle legs. These are four inches apart and my original plan was to add a few spacers for stability. But I didn't feel like they were needed. If I do feel the need in the future, I can always add them back in. This towel rack is super versatile and can be used not just poolside, but also in a bathroom or a laundry room. To finish it off, I used waterproofing deck stain in the color redwood to bring out the richness of the redwood and to protect the wood. Finally, I added a few hooks on the sides to help hang goggles or swim shorts. And that's it, it's a super easy and quick build. It took me about four hours to make this and I was recording video the whole time. And usually when you record video, it takes about 10 times longer for a project. So you could easily make this in just a few hours. And now I don't have to worry about 
towels and clothes on my patio furniture. I have the plans for this and the smaller version on my website and I will add a link to that in the description box below. I also have a hammock stand and an easy DIY dining table which make great weekend projects for your patio. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you aren't already, please subscribe and I will see you next week with a new video.